Cardia City Expats Club is a non-profit social organisation and our speakers are volunteers. The club as such assumes no responsibility or liability for the professional reputation of or the quality of services provided by the speaker today. And hello and welcome to Dr. Poi Gan from the Bangkok Pattaya Hospital who gave us a really informative talk on adult vaccines, vaccines for adults because we know for instance there's incredibly important vaccines for children such as classic children vaccine? Yes, for the children vaccine there's a lot just such as the, the influenza vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccine, miso rubella and every sort of vaccine. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and, and of course yes, the polio vaccine and they've made a huge difference to children's health worldwide but your topic was on adult vaccines and one of the things that interested me is that some va vaccines aren't available to people over the age of 60 yet. Why is that? Yes, because when people get older, their immunity are decreased and some particular infection can be more virulent and the elderly. So we have some specific vaccine for the elderly such as pneumococcal vaccine or social vaccine. Mm. And you have to get... One of the things that really interests me is of course you go to another country and like I, I'm from Australia, right? We don't have uh, Japanese encephalitis really in Australia, but here it's a big issue, right? Uh, yes, in, in our countries, such as in Southeast Asia, there is a, a lot, and it is that we call the endemic of the, the Japanese encephalitis because we have a, a farm, rice farm, and the pig, which is the the this vector of the infection so, so we have to get the yeah. injection of the Japanese encephalitis vaccine yeah so different different uh, areas have different mosquitoes right <laughs> and that that's one of the keys right so uh, for instance Japanese encephalitis it's it's little chance that you'll catch it but if you catch it it's ser super serious yes uh, actually some people don't have the serious side effect of the infection but some people have more serious and permanent brain damage. Yeah, 40% chance you'll die and if you live 40% chance you'll get permanent brain damage. So it's a, it's a pretty serious thing. So when you go to another country always research what vaccines you might need in advance, right? The other thing that's of interest to a lot of people here is the shingles vaccine. Yes, for shingle vaccine, we have two types of it. It is the live vaccine and and the kill vaccine, which is we, the kill vaccine is better like now. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that like the Shingrix vaccine? Yeah, yes. Yes. In, in the like now we have the the name the the, the name of the vaccine is Shingrix. Yeah. Yeah. I like. I can remember that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what other vaccines do you recommend? Uh, people to check up on, especially after the age of 60, say, which is a lot of people are here over 60. Yes, first of all, we have to update our COVID-19 vaccine and influenza vaccine for yearly annually. And after that, you have to uh, check the vaccine schedule, such as diphtheria tetanus pertussis. And other is uh, some social vaccine and pneumococcal vaccine. Right, so I really recommend you have a listen to the talk and, and seriously think about, uh, you know, checking that your vaccines are up to date. Uh, the other thing that, what about the rabies vaccine? Because I've, I've known people who have been, been bitten by a dog and they've had to rush to the hospital to get the vaccine, right? Yes, for the rabies vaccine, it's up to the patient risk. If they work with the cats or dog or something that have a high risk to get the bite it by that animal they have to get the injection of the vaccine but if people got a bite after they got biting from some mammal animal they have to get the vaccine also but they're not recommend in everyone it's just only in people with high risk or after they contact with the, the leaks yeah so if you're bitten by a dog or something i heard a story about this woman who got just you know play bit by a puppy in Thailand, she went back to Scandinavia somewhere. Nobody thought about rabies, and she died. Right? So it's uh, so if you do get bitten by a soy dog or something, you know, rush to the hospital and and get a, a rabies vaccine. Yeah. Yes, because the faster they get vaccination, the the immediate of their body to build the immunity, and it can prevent the death. Yeah. So 
Yeah, so there you go. Really, uh, we're very blessed to live in an age of vaccines. I know there's all sorts of controversies about the COVID and mRNA vaccines and stuff, but certainly uh, vaccines have been responsible for saving the lives of so many people worldwide. So thank you again for your wonderful talk. And again, really check out and concentrate and take notes during her talk about adult vaccines on, our, of course, this channel, the YouTube channel for PCEC. Thanks again, Doc. Thank you.